So today, people, we take a look at another new legendary to the game, and it's called the Smug. It's a Hyperion SMG, and it does have some uniqueness about it. Could it be top tier? Today, we check this thing out and find out what it's capable of. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A linked within the video description. Okay so Smug is one of the exclusive weapons which drops from the new takedown at the Guardian Breach and it drops from the last boss, Scourge the Invincible. Now I know many many folks out there are unhappy about this new raid and uh, many many aspects of it. To be honest guys, I have a separate video coming discussing the many arising problems since the latest update. The raid is included in that video so stay tuned for that. But all problems aside, this new Hyperion SMG, the Smug, what's special about it? Well, damage is amplified while the weapon shield is active. We can see also this Mayhem 10 variant is quite strong offering 5440 damage, decent accuracy, handling could be a bit better, reload speed on the slower side, fire rate for an SMG is pretty slow also and the mag size I'd say is average. Obviously many of these stats can be adjusted via your build and buffed upon, so for the most part what we are seeing here doesn't really reflect how this may work or play out in combat as we've seen with many many past weapons. So it's special trait of having amped damage when a weapon shield are active. This comes into play when you're aiming down sights and the damage bonus you get from this is around that 50 to 100% mark. I mean using it in certain instances it seems 100%, using it in others it seems about 50% which is decent either way if you think about it. Now from what I have experienced so far I would say it's a weapon which is probably benefits Zayn most. Having barrier active means you take way less damage meaning you can make the most of this thing while aiming down sights. And in my opinion the playstyle and to make the most out of this weapon having a Vault Hunter which could be buffed to move a little quicker would also be beneficial. As obviously if you stay idle taking damage while aiming destroys this weapon shield meaning this effect won't last long at all. So moving around helps, moving around at speed helps more. Vault Hunters like Amaru and Moles, I feel this won't be a wise choice and due to the fact you are for the most part always going to be taking damage, so the benefits of the amped damage won't come into play as often as you like. Now using it within the slaughter shaft, I do feel it lacks that punch we see from weapons like the Chaos and before its nerf. I mean my variant doesn't have an elemental effect on it which plays a major part in this weapon's damage output within the slaughter shaft. But I also feel Gearbox is scaling and how I do think they messed up on many aspects of the game since the latest patch, which didn't need to be touched, or the bugs and many other things come into play probably a little bit with this weapon and the way it performs. And for the most part it's actually quite good. Yes watching this it seems quite weak but remember the anointment I have on this is far from the best. The fact it doesn't have any elemental offerings either for that damage output, which by the way it drops offering all elements, it would only make this weapon much much better. So from what you're seeing within the gameplay footage in the background now, I wouldn't base your opinion on the weapon from this. I ain't, because I've seen what it can do with burns and so much more. This I can straight away see being a very decent weapon, all things considering if the rolls are right for said builds. The question is, is this worth your time busting your balls trying to get it via farming the Guardian takedown? I'd straight up say no. I have almost everything from the new raid and I will straight up state. The current state of the raid and how difficult it is for many, I feel the end game reward on this side of the game in its current state isn't worth the grind. In my opinion the only thing you're missing out on not having this weapon is a new name. Other than that, I don't feel this thing offers much more than what you can find elsewhere without busting your balls trying to obtain the thing. The raid confirmed by Gearbox is a little on the harder side all things considered and they are confirmed to be making changes. So if I were you, I'd wait for said change to take place, which I think are coming early next week. Just because in my opinion, how hard this thing is, if especially if you're a solo player, it's more or less impossible to obtain these things because the last boss is so hard. I mean, why would you want to do it on any other Mayhem mod apart from Mayhem 10? And Mayhem 10, in my opinion, and where the major problems are. So overall thoughts on a Smug Hyperion SMG. It is, in my opinion, a very decent SMG. One I feel will become a top tier weapon once everyone gets a hold on it. But it isn't really, in my opinion, anything truly unique or mind-blowing or game-breaking like we've seen in the past with certain weapons. 
and how they've played out and become. It's a new name in a pool of a million things, but right now, in my opinion, you ain't missing out on a said new name and it can wait until things are sorted. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you have this weapon and have an opinion on it, let me know it down below in that comment section. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you want to become a member of my channel, you can by hitting that join button. I do appreciate that support. Again, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.